Bob, thank you guys for having me here today. Um, I did all the hard work I could do, man. I trained for 10 weeks, very, very hard for this fight, doing sprints out in the cold and 20 degree weather. And uh, I'm more than ready to do my job this weekend. And uh, this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. My room is unbelievable. And I'm just very honored to be up here with this great talent. And uh, gonna have a good night Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Uh, very nice to be here. I haven't, I haven't fought in, the, in Vegas for a year now. So uh, very happy to be back here, very excited. Uh, I got a big fight Saturday. I'm fighting Jeremy Bryant. He's a very skilled guy, a very fast guy. And uh, I just wanted that type of fight. This part of my career, I feel like, you know, I'm ready for anyone in the welterweight division. I just want to show that, you know, I belong in the ring with anyone in the welterweights. And I will use this fight to show everyone that, uh, you know, I'm something else. I'm, I'm, I'm above that kind of opponent. He's fast, but I'm fast. I'm strong. I'm 25 and 0, and I'm ready for bigger things. So just don't blink. It's going to happen on Saturday night, and we're going to have a good show. Thank you, everyone. First of all, I want to just uh, thank Bob and, and Top Rank for, for uh, being, being a part of this and, and helping me and the Latino Water Coalition deliver such an important message to everyone and also the media who, you know, who were there, who has to do a big part of delivering this message to to all the people in California to uh, raise their awareness and being successful. Now, uh, this is the second time in the year fighting here at the Cos Cosmopolitan, and the first time I had an amazing experience. I want to thank, once again, Bob Arum and Top Rank for allowing me to be such, to be a part of such a big event as today, fighting in the undercard of Bradley, Bradley and Chavez. Uh, for me, it's a big honor. I have been working hard. I've been training at the wild card with Freddie Roach and Marvin Smudio. And I'm more than ready to give it my best and hopefully one day be in the same position as Timothy Bradley and Diego Chavez. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, first off, I want to thank God, Bob Barham, for uh, giving me this opportunity. My team, I've had a great team. I've had a great camp up in Big Bear. We've, we've, been, we've been getting ready for this fight. And a Saturday night, you guys are going to see a new, uh, a new champion. I feel great. I feel ready. And I'm ready to rock and roll Saturday night. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's amazing. Jose, when you first started, you were about half the size that you are now. Where they really grow on you. It's really a pleasure to introduce to you Oscar De La Hoya, the head of Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, Oscar, as you know, fought most of his career under the banner of top rank. He was a wonderful fighter, uh, a great champion, a great credit to the sport, and I'm really so delighted that he is now devoting himself absolutely full time uh, to promoting uh, fights uh, and events uh, in boxing because he is somebody that the sport really looks up to and uh, uh, there will be great things uh, that Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy will be doing in the future. So Oscar, come on up and introduce you to the Thank you, Bob. Thank you very, very much. It, it really is an honor, Bob, to be next to you, and because you're you're a person who has been doing this for more than what forty years, forty five years, yeah, forty eight, and forty eight years. I mean, this is a person that I really look up to because you know now that I'm a promoter, what better person? Uh, than Bob Arum to, to learn the ropes and, and, and learn how to promote and take these, these fighters' careers, you know, and, 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 uh, and, and watch the progression of, of, of you know, their, 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 their boxing careers and, 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 and help them grow as a fighter and, and build their careers. It's, it really is a pleasure for me to, um, and an honor because, look, Bob Arum is Bob Arum. He's 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 like he's like an icon. He's like he's like this person who we all have to admire for what he's done for boxing is incredible. He's put up some amazing fights, 
and uh, you know he has he has now uh, um, Todd Todd DeBuff is doing you know a lot a lot of work and doing the same thing putting up great fights and running the business and so it really is admirable and and for me personally as as a young promoter um, I I um, you know I, I I learned from everything that you've done so so thank you very much on behalf of Golden Boy Promotions um, for paving the way and continuing and for many more years to pave the way um, on how it's done. Oh, thank you guys for having me here and I um, want to thank Oscar for all the stuff you just said. Um, thank both promoters for finally you know putting something together and um, I just want to say you know I had a good year. Um, uh, thanks to Oscar, now signing with Oscar. Um, I'm just happier now, you know. Uh, I train happy. And um, I'm still getting the best fights and the tough fights out there. Uh, Benavides is a tough kid, young, prospect, hungry. You know, I'm real hungry too. We're both hungry. That's going to make it a great fight. Um, I just got a belt, the interim title, in March. It's a small belt, but before that, the history of my career, you know, has been, has been tough. I've been fighting the tough guys, taking a lot of punishment, going in wars, and... Um, I went through hell to get where I'm at. And it may be a small title now, and, go, and went through hell to get it, and it's not gonna be easy for Benavides to come and just take that. Uh, there's a lot of work behind that small belt, but it's, uh, it's better, it's a sign that I'm gonna go up for bigger things, get that world title, and bring it home. So uh, I gotta get past Benavides. He's a tough kid, not taking him lightly, but you're gonna see a great show. December 13th, be there, don't miss it. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. thank you all for being here. I'd like to thank Club Rank, Golden Boy, uh, The Bella Entertainment, and HBO for this opportunity. I'd like to acknowledge and um, thank my trainer and coach, manager, Adam Booth, who's done a fantastic job with me along with his team. And I'm prepared to become middleweight champion. I've worked my whole career for this. It's almost 10 years to the day that I first visited Las Vegas to watch a heavyweight title fight. And here I am 10 years later, ready to become champion. Thank you all very much. Yes, Hello everybody. Uh, so happy to be here. That was a long time, long way to go. And uh, I've been waiting at this moment. So, and I'm so ready, so happy to get this shot for the title. You know, thanks all people who are involved for making this fight happen. And uh, I'll see you Saturday night, and there will be a great fight for me, for us, for Terrifying. Thanks for everybody. Bueno, primero que nada, agradecerle a HBO, a, a Top Rank, por esta oportunidad. Y bueno, sabemos que, que Tim es un boxeador muy respetado, al cual respeto mucho por la, las peleas que tiene. Y, y bueno, estoy mejor que nunca. First of all, we want to thank Top Rank for the opportunity, HBO, Mr. Peter Nelson, Carl Moretti, enjoy your day. And we know that Tim is a very respectful boxer, he's very strong, one of the best, and we will do our best on Saturday. Y bueno, eh, esperemos hacer una buena pelea, ya que venimos de una derrota muy injusta ante Brandon Rio. And we hope to make a good fight, so, because we came against for a defeat an unfair defeat against Brandon Rios. We want to make a good fight on Saturday. Así que bueno, buena suerte para Bradley y que salga una buena pelea y que gane el mejor team. Good luck to Timothy and we will do a good fight and the better win. Uh, first of all, man, I want to give uh, honor and praise to God. First and foremost, uh, that's our father. Got to give honor to him. Uh, also, want to give uh, thanks to, man, Team Bradley, man, <laughs> the Bradley train. Man, everybody up here, my, my, my Trim Joel Diaz, my father, uh, Sam Jackson, and you name, the list goes on, man. James Rusley, uh, got a new new partner to the, to the team now. He's my, uh, he's my physician. He's been uh, looking after me from my injury from the Pacquiao fight. Frank, Frank, can you stand up, please? This guy right here, man, putting me back together. The wonderful new uh, Antonio Diaz. I mean, I can make a list. The list goes on, man. But uh, 
you know, I want to thank my wife. I want to thank my brother-in-law. Um, you know, I want to thank everybody that, that made my life easy. Honestly, all I do is go to train. Everything else is just, it's pretty much handled. So uh, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you. Um, also, let me uh, give a special thanks to HBO, man. HBO for bringing me back. I miss being on the scene. I've uh, been out for a little while. I'm back now. Um, happy to be fighting on one of the best networks, the best, ne uh, the ne I should say the best network in boxing, period. Um, also, uh, Top Rank, man. Top Rank will always, you know, hold their promises and, and doing what they promised that they were gonna do. And Top Rank's been doing great by me um, in my career and guiding me and uh, definitely taking care of my, my career and my family uh, tremendously. So special thanks to Bob, Todd, Buck, everybody, uh, part of Top Rank. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity and continuing to receive opportunities as well. Um, also, uh, Cotton Collin, thank you. Wow, very nice hotel. Now, uh, I've been here once, once before, but uh, what a very nice rooms, very nice people here. Um, see, I forget anybody else. Uh, also, I want to thank the media. I want to thank the media. If you wrote good things about me, great, thank you. If you wrote bad things about me, thank you. It's okay. I still love you guys, you know, because you guys are the ones that get the word out on the streets and uh, to the people. So uh, I'm very honored, very honored that you guys are here. Um, man, Golden Boy and Top Raker in the building. Can y'all believe that, man? Come on. Hey. That is what I'm talking about, honestly. Uh, this is this is great. Um, the fact that uh, the promoters in the boxing world are, are finally selling their differences. Uh, I said something back, I think it was back in the, um, it was uh, the conference that we had, I believe it was last year. Um, was it this year or last year, honey? Can you help me? It was May. It was in May. Thank you, I appreciate that. Well, anyways. Uh, I was receiving my uh, Fight of the Year award, and I said, man, we got Golden Boy and Top Rank in the building. We got several other promoters in the building here. We're all talking like we're all buddies and buddies. And I'm like, come on, can we all get along? Like, let's make this happen um, for the fans, man. Um, as you know, <laughs> pay-per-view's not like it used to be. The fans, the fans, they, they didn't caught on, okay? The fact that, hey, they want to see a fight. All right, that's what the fans want to see, and we owe that to the fans. So I'm excited and happy to see this, see this right here. I, I, I truly am, man. And uh, you know, I want to also give uh, thanks to Diego Chavez and his team. Diego's a tremendous fighter. Okay, he's had a couple opportunities here on USA soil. Uh, one against Keith Thurman, which he was doing very well in the fight until Keith Thurman found that key and ended the night. But you know, he put up one heck of a fight against Keith Thurman. Uh, another one against uh, the old rugged, uh, I call him a rugged man, because he, he ain't no joke, Brandon Rios, um, where, you know, many felt that he was unfairly, he was unfairly treated in that fight, in the de de disqualification. So, but we all know, as boxing fans, we all know that this guy can really fight. You know, I love to take fights. I love to fight the best because uh, I love to be nervous. I love to be like this. You know what I mean? I love to fight the best because I want to be the best. So this is one of those fights that I'm like this, you know, because Diego Chavez brings a lot to the table. You know, he's a far puncher. You know the Argentinian fighters. Floyd Mayweather just fought one. And he's tough, you know, and I know, I know his background. He's tough, he's well-crafted, he's got a great team behind him. And I know Saturday night's gonna be a rough night, but uh, I'm prepared, I'm prepared. I'm prepared at my very best right now. Um, I trained extremely hard, I trained about three months for this fight. Um, I'm excited to be back in the ring, and you know what? That's all I have to say. Uh, stay tuned. Saturday night is going to be a wonderful night of boxing. Oh, and let me don't forget about the undercard, man. The, under, the undercard, I mean, this is one of the best undercards I've, I've ever, <coughs> have ever seen. I've, I've never seen an undercard stack like this. So I'm very excited to see the, even the undercard fights while I'm in my dressing room waiting. So um, good luck to everybody. Uh, may the best man win, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much.